So you know, Mike, um, how I get you to actually do more podcasts? Yes. Food. Food, yes. Yeah. Because I am all about continuity of our corners. Oh, yes. That's, well, that's why. I am all about the continuity of our corners. And speaking of corners, this is the as the undecided corner. With your... Dusty host. Oh, no. Mike and Sophie, what have you done? I've given you pretentious dust. Pretentious dust? I have no idea what this is, but honestly, you have to try this out. What is it? I have no idea. It's very weird tasting. It's Italian. Is is it going to kill me? No. Is it nutty? No. What is this? What is this? It's savoury with a sweet undertone. Amaretti del Chiostro, original Italian product. Okay, original Italian product out of 10. Amaretti biscuits. Ah, okay. What's an Amaretti biscuit? It's a very sweet baby boy biscuit. I have no idea what spices they use in here, but it's weird. It is weird. Mm-hmm. Just like, um, you know what spice is used in Goody Goody Gumdrops ice cream? No. Turmeric. Sugar apricot kernels. There's apricot kernels in here, Mike. Apricot kernels? Do you know what inside, what's inside apricot kernels? Kernels? Cyanide. Yay! Yay! Death by sweets. Sorry, Mike, we're going to die again. Mike, you already ate half of this, so I'm perfectly fine. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, um, as you were saying, sorry? Turmeric is the primary colorant in Goody Goody Gun Drops ice cream. The green stuff? Yes. Really? It's one of the colors that makes it green. Really? What's the other color? It's like some sort of blueness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Wow. I thought it'd be funny just to say that, you know, to make it green, they put turmeric in it. <laughs> to make it natural. All natural. Yeah, all natural. Just like you will not see me at a beach. <laughs> because I would rather wear pants. Yeah. Pants are more important. <laughs> wow. Yes. This is, Obviously it's important. This is strange. This tastes really weird. Yeah. It's biscuit, but it... No! It is biscuit, but it kind of tastes like a strange gummy of some sort. Yeah. And I'm like, really? This is what pretentious people eat with their cream. But would you... This is like the pretentious version of um, Pokey Pokey. Now, now pretentious Hokey Pokey. Now, now, would you buy this as like a little tiny macaroon? Yeah. Yeah, like like, like a little, little bit of cream in the centre, so you get grab two biscuits, put a little bit of cream, like a, like a pretentious Oreo. Yeah. Miniature pretentious Oreos. Mm. Oh, have you tried the Oreo um, mixed in with um, Cadbury's chocolate? No. I've had some. It's super sweet. It's almost too rich. Just like baby boys. It's baby girls. Baby girls. So, you know, not all dogs are good boys. Yes. Some of them are very good girls. Yes. Cute. So, in saying that, yeah. how, how are you, Sophie? Good, thank you. As for you? Yeah, because, because you were a little bit angsty when you walked in this morning. You were a little bit, you were a little crazy girl this morning. No idea why. Oh, well. Probably because my social needs... Well, my, well, let's just say that humans are selfish and society has taken a huge drain on me as they did for you on Sunday. What happened on Sunday? You went to some things you did not want to, but you oh, forced yes. to. Yes. <laughs> We're not naming names. Good, We're not good, good segue. Names. Good segue yes. in the topic here. Good segue. Yes. Because... Because... We're not naming names, okay? <laughs> We're no. not naming names. We're very sorry... Um, we still like Mike's friends. It's just that. <laughs> okay. It's just that in this instance, he did manage to hurt Mike a bit, but he won't. But he'll never admit to you guys to it, you know. No. It's just no. that he'll never admit to me that he hates celery. 
is... I gave him salary one time. It took him like three weeks to tell me. I would prefer a wage. Wage for what? A wager? No. Think about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer a wage to a salary. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Mike is, Mike is kind enough ne to never tell his friends when we managed to hurt him by mistake. And, you know, I often have to piss him about it. Like, Mike, what have I done wrong with the dinner? Any but, um... <laughs> He sometimes would tell me when one of his other friends had been, you know, a little bit too draining on him. Okay, okay. Can I can I defend myself, please? Sure. Did you have any other points before I have to defend myself? Before I have I'm to... just saying that you, you should be more assertive. Yeah, but you, before I flip my, my Yu-Gi-Oh card from attack to defense... Yeah. Is there any uh, anything that you would like to say before I turn the card over? No. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Firstly, you need to people need to understand that when you do something, mm -hmm. there is a primary purpose to doing that particular thing. Yes. Right. Right. And that's regardless of everything. Mm -hmm. That. You, you know, if you want to make a sandwich, mm -hmm. the end result is what you live for. Yes. You want the sandwich. <laughs> the sandwich. But in order for that to happen, mm -hmm. you need to go through the processes of making that sandwich. Yes. And that process, people don't like. Mm -hmm. Because people are lazy. So that's why we buy sandwiches. Yes, exactly. And we pay other people to make sandwiches for us. Yes. On that basis, sometimes you you go to events, mm -hmm. but then you realise that there are events in the process yeah. that you may not like. Of course. So that, that, that depends on when... Does the overall event become costly when the primary event is more beneficial? Or, well, I was about to phrase the question slightly differently. I was about to ask, when should you stop being polite? When, it, when being polite is taxing on you. I, I would think that that point where you don't see the benefit in things anymore. I see. In those particular situations. Right. Because, you, you know, this is going, you know, you know, this is going to be an ongoing process mm -hmm. of you think that you are going out for a certain period of time, but, yeah. that, ex but it, that extends that time to a point where you are not enjoying yourself. Oh, boy. So, in saying that, Sophie, as a friend, has, has been... And blame for this. But yeah. I am too polite in order to say something about it. I have been what? Under this process, yeah. there are some instances where this has happened. Yeah. But you but you haven't realized it. Of course I haven't realized it. You're supposed to tell me. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm insensitive. Yes. That's that's why I asked. That's why I always ask you to critique me all the time because honestly, I need to know so I can improve. Yes. Because I sometimes I am a dumb person. <laughs> I am an emotionally dumb person. Please tell me when I'm screwing up. Okay. So I would really appreciate that, please. And, and and sometimes I have critiqued Sophie on on some particular things. Yes. Where I have been tested. Of that critique. Oh, yeah? Because of me being ungrateful of that particular thing. Tested by me? No, not tested by you. Tested by others. So other people don't take a critique well? No, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's a person having your back. Yeah. So they are treating my critique... Is being ungrateful for that thing. In other words, they don't take your critique well. Yeah, 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 but, you know, I'm critiquing you. I am not critiquing your friend. 
but the okay. friend is taking your back. Yeah. But she, but your friend doesn't know mm. that we have had this discussion that you want to be critiqued. Oh, so other people think that you're being ungrateful when you're critiquing me, whereas, but they don't know that I've asked you to critique me in the first place. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's awkward. Yes. Oh. Now, now, I'm sorry to say, Sophie, do you remember that time? No, I don't. Can you remember that time? No. Now, now, I, I, I remember this time. Oh, this is awkward. Do you want me to just talk about this time? Yes, please. Don't name names, though. No, I'm not naming names. Okay. It was it was me, Sophie. Yeah. Person one. Yeah. And person two. Right. Person two was late. Okay. Okay. And and, and we were having, uh, AYU time. Yes. And Sophie was being very polite, and she brought lunch. Yeah. For all of us. All, cool. of, all of us had exactly the same thing. Which is? It was pork and lettuce sandwiches on white bread. We were golfing. Yes, we were golfing. Yeah. So what happened is that we have had this discussion. Mm. That wh- whatever you say, Mike, you, you know, please critique my sandwiches. Yeah. Is that not what you said? Yes. So... I said, you know, it'd be really nice to put on the sandwich. What did I say? Beetroot. Yes, or any sort of solid condiment. Mm. And person number one yeah. was being a good friend yeah. and saying that I was ungrateful for critiquing said sandwich. Even though I actually asked for critique of sandwiches. How can I improve up the sandwiches next time, Mike? Yes. Yeah, I, I asked for it. Yes. Come on. You asked for it. Yeah. And I, I, I escorted to my opinion. Yeah. And then your friend. Yeah. Said that I was being ungrateful for that. Oh no! Oh, that's nasty. So, in saying that. Yeah. What did we learn from this discussion, Sophie? <laughs> I should be more clear. That's a light critique. Or. Yeah. And, and, and critique of myself. Yeah. I should have said it alone. Yeah. Or via textual communication. Like, hey, Sophie, we had a very nice day. I loved your sandwiches. Um, do you mind putting beetroot in them next time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the next set of sandwiches did contain beetroot in them, right? Yes, they Oh, did. yeah. I actually wrote down, like, this contains beetroot. This does not contain beetroot because I hate beetroot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so. but yeah, yeah it, it, it was more of... Of there, ne- there needed to be something else. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, it could be better if something else was added. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that is a more personal example. Yeah. Of times where I'm uh, I've been advocating for something being polite. Yeah. But then the opposite happening. Oh, oops. Like, your motives were misconstrued. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Do I take critiques well? From me, yes. Okay. From me, yes. From other people? No. What do you mean? No. Oh, no. no. What have I done? No. What have I done? Um, be- be- because, because of the way that I, because of the way that I critique. Yes. I'm doing it in a more positive light. Ah, yes. Right? Like, you can improve. I have faith in you. You just need to do this. Yes. And it all comes from a fact of, of trying. Ah, yes. Right? And, you know, I have lived the majority of my life in the way I've done things by trying. Ah, yes. Even though I will not get the results that the effort that I put into to get, mm. but it's... It, my effort is uh, is I will give a hundred percent to everything, because yes. people who say they're going to give one hundred and ten percent, then no, 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 <laughs> it's impossible. Yes, so in, in in saying that, it it comes from people that consider what you do mm-hmm. regardless of how much effort that they put into. Yeah. They think about the result. 
but not the journey. Yes. They purely think about the result, and no matter what kind of person that you are, it's always going to hurt. Word of wisdom. A journey of a, th- a journey of a thousand kilometers begins with one step. Lao Tzu. Yes. So, and because there are certain individuals that have not gone through that process. Oh, yes. And they say those things to you. Mm-hmm. It still hurts, but it comes from a form of confusion and why did they say that when they haven't been there? And and you do not know what I'm being like, like I'm going through. Mm-hmm. So that's the part where critique is. Yeah, where where, where you don't critique critique well, and the whole fact that it's not only you that doesn't critique well. The majority of us don't take critique well, given the context. Mm. So does that make sense? I have to mould over. Kind of half makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a too deep to get into right now. Yes, it's fine because because it marinated in my head. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Yes, of course. The, the this is this is the problem. Oh, I wouldn't say a problem. It's this is the part. That makes me me. Yeah, yeah. I go very deep, very quick. Yeah, I do that too. Yes. But honestly, that kind of went on the deep end for me for right at this moment, so. Yeah. Let me just um, swim around the deepness of the <laughs> wisdom and just um, explore a little bit. Yes. So, 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 so you, you, know, you know, take for instance, when you knew with your assignment that the vast assignment that you had mm. that you failed yeah so you you came to me in seeking solace yeah for that failure right because in my opinion you did, did not take that well yeah <laughs> that's a <best> understatement <laughs> yes Be- because yeah. you saw the result mm. and you automatically assumed what others and others expectations of you would have manifested inside you yes so that's the reason why i see that you can't take take critique well you can take it from me fine because i understand the context yeah it's what friendships are for thank you understanding context it's not that i reject critique it's just that i take critique too seriously Yes. Because... Oh, so it's like I go too far with critique. Yes, and this is... <laughs> and, and critiquing of myself. Mm-hmm. Um, when there is only one plan... Yeah. That's when I start spiralling. Why is that? Because... If that one plan were to fail... Oh dear. It is game over screen. I know, right? And last time I checked, you can't restart the mission. This is life. This is why no one really wants Assassin's Creed to be real. No. And no one wants FPSs to be real either. Oh, goodness. (laughs) There's some things you should just keep in your mind. Yes, we we, we do want 14 days to be real life. How was your first battle royale? That was it. Was actually pretty funny. Really? Um, I I decided to play as a pacifist. How do you win as a pacifist? You don't. Oh wait. It, it, <laughs> you do it, you, you do it in self defence. Oh oh oh. So oh. I, I would crawl from bush to bush to bush. Yeah. For camouflage. So how many people did you go against? 100. And you came 14th? Yes. Congratulations! I know. That's an A. 86% yes. Yeah. 
Eighty-six percent. That's or, a solid A. Yeah. Or, or as I like to call it, twenty-six and a half out of thirty. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> That's what I got for my um, for my group assignment. Meme review. Meme review. We're a bunch of nine-year-olds. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're a bunch of nine-year-olds. Um, anyway. So, which? So you play Fortnite, right? Fourteen days. Yes. Fourteen days. Okay. Were there any bridges to cross? <laughs> no, no, this was not UB40, this was. Oh, okay. This was not UB40. Alright. <laughs> um, this is this is sponsored by the UB40 song, Many Rivers to Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring the song Red Red Wine. Yes. <laughs> On the other side of the of the cassette. The B track. The B track. So which weapon so did you so why do you think Fortnite is so successful? <sighs> Myriad of things. Such as? Uh, the times per match. Oh, yeah? That's usually the big thing. So how mu- how long is a match? Not even 20 minutes. Oh, really? It doesn't take long. And, and that, that's why, you know, um, like, um, what are they called? MOBAs. Yeah. Um, sometimes it can be 20 minutes, sometimes it can take four hours. Wow. But there is a definite timeline to Battle Royales and mm-hmm. the way that they've done it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So what's the screen that, what does the screen say when you win a Fortnite? Um, it's called, oh, yeah. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> when the chicken dinner? No, no, no. That's a PUBG. That's, that's a, PUBG. That's PUBG. That's a PUBG. Okay. That's a that's a public public house G. Yeah. Um, I think it's called Winner Royale. I think something like that. Okay, so so the whole space of sword arts online games. Yes. Why are they becoming so successful? Why are there so many of them now? Because of free market. Okay. You know, okay, Sophie, as a business student mm-hmm. and as an economics student, what are the four rules of free market? Four rules? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Probably never did that, actually. That, that, that does not sound familiar. There are no barriers to entry. Low tr- no transaction costs. Mm. Perfect competition. Mm. Oh, and many buyers and sellers... sellers. There we there go. go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually surprising that I am the one teaching a business. Actually, <laughs> I knew the rules. I just did not know. What to, I just did not know the context. Yes. So as you say, because you know we were just repeating ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so PUBG's getting no battle royals are getting successful. Because there are many buyers and sellers. The, yeah, the, 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 there are many people in there, plus there are many contexts of that. Okay, so how long do you think... Um, no, wait. Two questions. Why is Fortnite called Fortnite? I don't know. And h- how long do you think the popularity of Fortnite would be before, you know, there'll be another battle royale for people to actually, you know, battle in? Because, you know, PUBG... The PUBG's... Decreasing. And... And which one of those four criterias would it be? Be- would it be because of? Uh, many buyers and sellers. No. Nope. Okay. How much does Fortnite cost? Zero. How much does PUBG cost? Oh, how much does PUBG cost then? This can explain a lot. As of the Steam sale, it was thirty percent off, and it cost twenty six sixty nine. So high transaction costs. There you go. Blah 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 blah. blah. But to, um, honestly, though, high transaction costs does not necessarily mean a game would be you know not successful though, because yeah. you, because you know Destiny two. Yes, but we live, we live in a society now where, where we want the demo. We, we, we want the full game for free. Freemium. Freemium. Okay. And now I prefer paying for my game so I don't get any ads. Correct. Or the um, 
the transactions. I hate microtransactions. But some microtransactions have become macro transactions, right? We talked about this. Yes, we did. Any updates? Uh, That's being made. It's being deemed as gambling over in Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands, yeah. No, not. No, not Belgium. Be Belgium. Belgium. I think it's Belgium. Yeah. As well, not exactly microtransactions, but um, loot boxes. Yeah, loot boxes. And it's... Yeah. Would you agree that loot boxes are gambling? Now, this is this is the big question. Yeah. Um, now, because of the way that it works, mm. the, way, the way that loot boxes work, you are given... You, you are giving people an incentive and there will be a cost behind very rare instances. Yes. Right? And, and you know, some people um, are advocating that some companies release their, um, their odds. Yeah. So, in, in that case... If they were to release their odds, therefore, you can drive the price down to its 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 essential point. Yeah. But when those odds are uncertain, mm -hmm. there is you actually pay more because you want that e exclusivity because you don't know the odds. Yeah, so for example, they might be releasing um, $300 worth of rare goods, but yet, but you, but the public as a whole end up paying $400 for it because they don't know the odds. Yes. Yeah. So that's how um, raffles work, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Tell me about raffles. Like... Um, well, well, there is a... Formula. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There is a formula that most Western economies have to abide by in order to make the raffle fair. Yeah. So, so you don't want to make it. You want it to make it risk neutral, yes. or as close to risk neutral as you can. You, you can't, you can't, you. Oh, yeah. You can't make it risk averse. No. Because, you know, you know, you. You are not incentivizing the person to buy the raffle in the first place if it is risk averse. Yeah. So, for example, um, a risk neutral raffle, a risk neutral raffle is when the money you you come, you you bring in is double the value of the raffle itself. Yes. That's when you actually have half half with them um, risks. Yes. With people, between the um, raffle giver and the buyers of the tickets. Yes, because. You like you see that you, you see the potential of that is there. Yes. Um, but when you start making it averse, mm. that's when um, you are actually paying more per dollar. Yeah, and that is why I suppose I don't want to release the odds for the loot for the loot boxes. Yes. And therefore, does that loot boxes are still gambling? Sounds a lot like gambling to me, the way that you're explaining it. <laughs> well, Congratulations, we're really biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then that begs the question: How, if you know the odds, mm -hmm. how do you make it risk neutral? Oh yeah, I suppose when you bring up three hundred dollars worth of goods, you have people pay three hundred dollars overall for them. I suppose not four hundred dollars, not two hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So you know, when you buy that sort of stuff, and it is cosmetic. Yeah. Um. You know. You know. We can talk about pay to win stuff. Till the cows come home, and when when it goes to pay to win. Yeah. Connotations. That's when I consider it to be gambling. Okay. So pay to win. So so pay to win is definitely like not out of bounds because they're giving people an unfair advantage. Yes. Whereas um, cosmetic stuff is just a little bit of frivolity that should be allowed because, you know, it's a game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and it all comes back that it is a game and unfortunately for some, it is a business. <laughs> and for others, it's a serious, serious business. Yes. Such as for Cordy. Uh, uh, sorry. That kid. <laughs> we, are, we are talking about my nephew here. You're nibbling. You're, you're... And the problem is, is that 
He has seven. That's his problem. <laughs> That's his So, problem. at the tender age of seven, he lost his first Fortnite game. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He, he, he was being frustrated because he was sniper killed. By? Other people in the game. In? Fortnite. <laughs> so, so, so what, what will happen is that if people land, it, it, it's the time between you, you, you land. Yeah. And when you die, <laughs> and, and when it, when it is short, mm-hmm. you kind of like, what? What? I just spawned, <laughs> and I'm already gone. <laughs> oh, poor Cody. Yeah, but but. I mean, who would kill a seven year old? But I'm like, he's seven. Why does he worry about the game? Because. But, but, is that what you think in your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, it's it's like, how would a seven year old? react to that like how could a seven-year-old understand life and death correct so yeah, yeah, yeah how does a seven-year-old react to there is no repercussions in this game if you if you're killed you're killed if you win you win and but when you give when you you, you give that their the overarching expectation yeah. Of, of what the win means to you compared to the actual value of winning is. Mm. That's when the emotional instability happens. Oh no. So like, like take for instance with Quiz Night. I already know that we're not going to win. We don't care. Stalin's there. Yeah. So I'm like, what, why... Actually, two discussions. One... Why? Why do we have to be so serial about it? <laughs> serial podcast. This this podcast is sponsored by Serial. Serial. Where's your crap now? <laughs> and and then you have to think the second possibility yeah. is that since the likelihood of us winning is so minimal, yeah, why go in the first place? But that is a more the the latter question is more easily answered. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I I go there to hang out with friends. We don't keep and to learn and to learn facts. Yeah. So yeah. And to bask in the glory of Stalin. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so the, 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 that's my sort of process behind it. Okay. And, and that's probably the reason why I don't like MMOs. No. Because the problem with MMOs Mass is, multiplayer online. Yes. Is that there is no ending. No goals. No, no, there, there are... Is a, there are goals. Oh, okay, sorry. There is no overarching goal. Yes. So, you, you, it's, it's the point that you have invested so much time into that little thing. And you are giving an overarching expectation to that thing. Yeah, it's like, you actually put in a lot of effort for pretty much nothing. Yeah. I suppose it's a bit relaxing. But keep in mind that with MMOs, ultimately you get nothing out of it. So, you give nothing... No, you give nothing, you take nothing. Yeah. You know? So yeah. It's a very relaxing thing to so, give nothing and to take nothing. Yes, yeah, so that's why I I don't use I don't play MMOs. Apart from Fortnite. No, no, because um, what, what, what the difference the difference in that <laughs> is that with Fortnite and Battle Royales, that there is an ending relatively yeah. quickly. True. Yeah. After twenty minutes. Yes. Then so that you you know I do like playing FPS. Online FPSs. Oh, yeah. I used to enjoy that back in the day because here is an ending. But what happened? I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you... What do you mean? Like, you stopped... You, why did you have to stop? Because you moved here? No, no, because... Disappointing? <laughs> no, no, be, because... I... I it's, yeah, it, it's because I wanted a change. I needed a change. Oh, yeah? And, you know, not playing games... Um was a disincentive but it was a minor one okay so you decided to grow up a little bit oh come on mate a really? little bit oh that's just sad a little bit yeah, and i talked about this with a friend is that the ultimate growing up is when you have kids no uh... so insane there oh one more thing um do you think cody will grow up to be grow up to be a geek or is he already a geek now 
Because, because he is because he is seven. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you and and for a person that age or any sort of kid, you need a good support structure. Oh yes. And in order for that to happen, you need a good you, you know you do need particular people with with experience and all that sort of jazz to give him options. Right. Um, so if, if there's something that he likes and he wants to pursue it, there may be um, people in a support network that have been there and done that. Like you. Yeah, well, well, okay, let's just say if he wants to go to university. Yeah. He could come to me for advice about all that sort of jazz. Mm-hmm. Alright? Right. And I will give appropriate context to that. That take, for instance, his mother. Mm-hmm. His parents. And to a lesser extent, his grandparents. Do not understand. I know. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, like, if he wants to pursue it, let him pursue it. But I am not going to advocate or lobby him to do that. Okay. He is who he is. Yeah, exactly. He needs so, to be who he needs to be. Yeah, so if he wants if he wants to be a farmer, yep. let him be a farmer. We have to find the money for the land first. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, does he have some sort of claim to the Kanara land? No. Oh, why not? N- because it's all about the males. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie just flicked the bird at me. <laughs> for me being slightly misogynistic. <laughs> when I was being honest. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, that was a joke. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Joke. yeah I, I, I know it was a swoosh. But, but still. Um, nevertheless. I was just uh, flipping the bird at your ancestors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Should be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, you, you're not. You're not a dick. Should be right. Um, <laughs> you don't own. You don't own a dick. No, you own a dick, but you're not a dick. And speaking of owning dicks, yeah, we should end the podcast there. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You could find. Hey, um, the... hey, wait. How would you get a dick out of out of Richard? How would you get a dick out of Richard? You can find out by by um asking. On at Sophie nine seven oh nine or at the man is T H E M A R N U S or you can email as the underside podcast at gmail dot com or we are at AYU podcast at AYU podcast. Have a nice evening, ladies and gentlemen. You ask him nicely. <laughs>